Hello, my name is Maeve Canelli. I am a prevention specialist with Wayside Youth and Family Support Network, and I am pleased to be hosting this News Now Health Update. Today, I am here with my colleague, Lisa Givalerio. Lisa is a public health educator with Wayside, and together we oversee the Belmont Wellness Coalition. Today, Lisa is going to be sharing information on trusted adults and their importance in a young person's life. So to begin, Lisa, can you share what a trusted adult is and why it's important that teens have one? Yes, thank you, Maeve. So trusted adults are just that, they are adults, other than the parents though, that's the key, um, who are consistent and dependable um, in, in the young person's life. They are chosen by the young person as a safe person to go to who can listen without judgment and without an agenda. That's important. So again, their their purpose is to listen, offer support, and um, a young person can find a trusted adult in a variety of settings. It could be a sweet neighbor, a caring grandparent, a kind teacher, or maybe even a coach. Uh, so many different varieties of, of adults can fit this role. Now, is there any data that supports the trusted adult concept? There is, Maeve. Um, so youth who talk with a trusted adult are nearly half as likely to engage in risky behaviors. We know that. The other piece of data that's important to share is that youth who have a meaningful connection with an adult, uh, those youth report less mental health challenges overall. Thank you for sharing that research. Um, in terms of characteristics, what are some ideal traits that a trusted adult would have? Sure. So like we said, I would I would put good listening um, and non-judgmental at the top of that list. Um, unlike parents, they're not going to be burdened by expectations for the teenager about college or grades or you know, becoming captain of a team or something. So that's important. They have to be accessible. Um, so if, if your trusted adult has you know, just made partner in, in the law firm and they're super busy, that might not be the best choice. So reliable and accessible. And I would add that they need to also have clear boundaries. So they need to understand what situations are beyond their skill set and when they need to, you know, when this they need to advise this young person to perhaps seek professional help. Um, I'm wondering if you could share a little bit more on what ways trusted adults can support teens. By listening, by perhaps offering guidance, by being present. Um, ultimately, Maeve, what we're looking for in a trusted adult is someone who can offer a safe, comfortable, comfortable space for a teenager to explore issues. And... Um, in terms of parents helping their teens identify trusted adults, what are some ways that parents can help their teens do that? So I would advise parents to begin by initiating a conversation with their child and say, hey, look, I think you could benefit by talking some of these things out with someone other than your parents. Um, so who do you feel safe with? Who do you feel comfortable with? And then it can kind of go from there. Thank you. And is there anything else on trusted adults at this time? I would just add that let your kids know that uh, you understand that they might want to speak with other adults who are more objective. Let them know explicitly that you're okay with this, that you see the benefits to this. And assure them, this is important, that these conversations will be private, unless, of course, the kids are a danger to themselves or pose a danger to other people. Thank you. For for this information, Lisa, trusted adults sound like a pillar of support for teens and young people. Um, thanks for tuning in to this News Now Health Update. Thank you.